Jason Risley with American Dream here. I'm gonna be interviewing, actually my wife is gonna be interviewing my most recent buyer, which is me. I, I'm a real estate investor too, and I always think it's better for a buyer to know that their realtor is also buying in this market right now and why they're buying. So take it away, Christy. <laughs> well, I guess my first question is, why would you buy real estate in 2021? Well, one, the interest rates are really, really good. In the U.S., we've had 3% inflation for the last 70 years. Mm -hmm. So what's crazy is right now you can buy an asset index for inflation, a house, you know, it's made of brick, mortar, wood, and this is all going up with inflation. And yet you, for the first time ever, you can buy this asset index for inflation at a, and finance it at a lower rate than inflation. The last 70 years, the historical data says 3%. I'm going, hey, I can borrow at 2.25, 2.5, 2.7, somewhere in that range. And so that's why I'm buying. <laughs> no, you're right. With interest rates being so low too, it is an amazing time to buy. So what areas do you see as the best real estate investment? Right. Well, number one, I love single story homes. Why? It's a supply and demand thing. So your demand side, you've got a bunch of baby boomers that all want single story homes. They right. don't want to move when they're 83 years old. And so they're looking strategically at only single story homes. Mm -hmm. Now for people that are my age, your age, one story, two stories, it's all good, right? right. Now, the supply side, there's not a lot of single story homes anymore. They were building them in the 60s, 70s, because at that time, California had a lot of land. You got a big lot, front yard, backyard. So you'll see that in homes that are built in the 50s and 60s and 70s, early 80s, late 70s. They just stopped building single story homes. As an investor myself, I know well, the 50 year average is 7.3% on appreciation. Right. Let's say the next 10 years average is 6% instead of 7.3. I would guess that single story homes double whatever the normal average of the next 10 years is. So we don't know what the next 10 years will be, but let's say it's 6%. Single story homes might do 12%. What are current 2021 market trends that you're seeing so far? Yeah, so 2021 is a pretty crazy market. Mm -hmm. The buyer to seller ratio is way out of whack. We talked about the interest rates. A lot of it's that, right? Because yes. people are going, hmm, I was renting, but if I buy my monthly payments a lot lower because the interest rate's so low, I mean, we're in the twos on interest rates. And so that's got a lot of buyers that are off the fence right now. The challenge is not a lot of sellers. What would be a good strategy for you to try to get your in to find that dream house? Yeah, so one of the strategies that I've been seeing working is you got to get off that piece of paper, right? If a seller is looking at the contract, you're just a name to them. Right. You got to make it seem like you're a real person. And so what we've been doing is doing videos of our clients and introducing our clients with the offer. That can go a long way. I've actually seen where we haven't been the top on purchase price and got it accepted because it was a family that they wanted to live in that neighborhood and they just kind of connected with them. But how do you draw that connection? The connection has to be get away from paper and get to showing the personality and the, and the person that's actually buying the home. So since you're my most current buyer that I'm interviewing, do you have yeah. anything else that you would recommend just for anyone that's looking on the market now? Well, they should work with me or you, right? <laughs> There's a good and a bad part of right now. The good part would be, I think anything that you would write an offer on now is gonna be worth more than what you paid for. The challenge for buyers right now is it's really hard to be picky. You really can't be picky right now because everything that's halfway decent is gonna get multiple offers right away. That's just the market we're in right now. Yes. So you've gotta have a strategy. How are you gonna beat those 12 other offers? Because even the halfway decent houses are getting that kind of demand. It's crazy, right? But it is. That's, that's the market that we're in. So that's why we've gotta separate our buyers in a different way to get us across the finish line. Well, thank you very much for all the information. I feel like buyers and sellers have both learned a lot about what's coming in 2021. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, thank you so much for joining us on the American Dream. And we'll see you in our next segment. <laughs>